Okay, so today we're going to take a really close look at the Veravon armor cage for the Panasonic GH3 and GH4 cameras. Now, as you know, these cameras are physically almost identical. Uh, so they, they share all the same um, buttons and controls, um, you know, all the placements. So the cage is going to work for both the GH3 and the GH4 cameras. Now, the cage here comes with this top handle. You notice there is a cold shoe slot here. So you have one cold shoe slot for something like a uh, video microphone, perhaps. But uh, as soon as you mount the top handle, now the top handle has to slide in place. And then to secure it, it has a thumb screw here. So nice design. It's going to hold uh, very secure. You can load this cage up. This handle is going to work um, perfectly fine. It's going to carry a lot of weight. So you do lose the cold shoe slot here, but they do provide you with one removable cold shoe adapter here. It's a small one. And again, there's tons of mounting points up on the handle itself. Now, um, typically when I'm using this, I'm not using the handle because I'm mounting things directly to the uh, cold shoe, like a monitor or a wireless mic receiver or video microphone or, or light. So I'm just leaving it like this. Now there's a hand strap here. It comes with a hand strap. So it makes it comfortable to hold if you're um, kind of doing that run and gun. If all you have is maybe a video microphone, then uh, it'd be great. Otherwise, uh, you know, I don't use a hand strap very often because I have other things loaded up on there and I'm not going to run around with a, uh, a monitor up on the top. Um, here's a, t a look at the top here. You can notice the waves and the cutouts gives you access to the dials up on the top here. You have full access to pretty much everything. It's a little bit of a stretch to get to this uh, white balance button right under here. Um, I mean, my hands are small and even I have a hard time getting to that one button. But being a touchscreen um, camera, you can get to it through the, uh, the menu on the back and, and using the touchscreen to get to your white balance. So not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit tricky getting right there. Um, outside of that, you do have full access to the SD media card slot full access to the battery, which brings us to the bottom of the plate here where you see this dovetail, this uh, kind of quick release here. I won't say quick release because it actually is part of the cage. You cannot remove uh, this dovetail. Um, so that was one of the confusing things for people was that it had this Arca Swiss dovetail, but it has two threaded points here. So if you wanted to, you could still mount a QR plate to the bottom. Now there's two threads here. so you can use a register pin uh, on one and then the thread on the other. That way you have anti-twist on your QR plate. So even though it's stuck on there, not a big deal. Um, it, you can mount any QR plate you want. But just to show you, there are quite a number of tripods on the market that use Arca Swiss. Here we have a Benro Mi Photo tripod. Now, this tripod is super portable, ultra lightweight, and works perfectly with uh, Arca Swiss. So we just mount it directly like that. Now, when we were running around with this cage, um, we had this camera static. We didn't need a big tripod. We didn't need a big fluid head. We just need a static shot. So this is perfect. We just mounted it right to this and that was it. We're, we're done. And so we didn't have to travel with a heavy video tripod. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of uh, other tripods that use Arca Swiss. So it is very common. So pretty cool to have that already built in. Going around to the side here, you know, one of the things people are talking about, of course, is being able to flip out your LCD and rotate it within the cage. So that's cool. If uh, you're not using a monitor, you have that ability. <clears throat> but, you know, as you know, if you're using the HDMI port on your GH4, um, you know, if you're using an external monitor, well, you know, even if you can flip your LCD out, you're not going to be able to rotate it because that cable is going to get in the way. Now, uh, coming over on this side here, you have a microphone pinch. Um, there's a tiny little screw under here, which is a, a little hard to get to to make some adjustments. But basically, you, you would screw that little piece upward, and then you would screw this top part downward, and it would clamp onto your, your mic. Now, originally I thought it was going to damage, you know, a, a small cable, 
but actually what it's doing is let me show you with this video mic what it's doing is it's actually clamping on the outer jack here so not on the uh, cable itself so as you insert this into the mic input you'll notice that this clamp now is going to rest on top of this um, this jack right here so it's not going to damage your cables um, it will work fine and you know just to show you here's a lab microphone and as we put this jack in here still we will only be clamping onto the uh, the jack itself and not the actual cable so this uh, cable pinch is going to work fine for that now the HDMI clamp um, the way it works is you unscrew these two there's a little bracket here that you would put your cable in between and you would pinch the cable here to you know to prevent it from falling out now uh, I won't say it's a lock it's not it's not going to protect your port from uh, you know damage if the physical connection was was being moved but it will prevent the cable from coming loose and just to kind of show you what I'm talking about um, I have this HDMI cable here this is a you know type D very you know this is this is what I use but you'll notice that when I put this into the um, HDMI port that you know this this port here is again is not being protected um, by this clamp so if for some reason you know somebody were to push this very hard you know it could still damage the uh, the HDMI so I mean not a big deal um, even the whole new cage doesn't have protection for the HDMI uh, but this has a clamp but one of the things about um, the clamp too though is you know you have to you have to pick the right HDMI cable this is a very uh, firm cable um, you know, I like the firm cables when I'm doing some things because, you know, these things are, they break easy, right? HDMI breaks easy. But you'll notice the position of this clamp here. And if I'm trying to get this over to the clamp, you know, and I'm not even bending it much to, to push it in. I already feel like I'm putting some stress on the port here because this cable is not super flexible. So I'd, I'd really have to get creative on, on how I can mount mount this thing without putting too much stress on my port but you can see uh, that there is some so if you're using a lighter more flexible cable then you're not going to run into this problem but you know uh, I can't say it's going to work for every HDMI out there um, I mean if this were me I would probably just tie strap it up here or something uh, just to prevent a lot of stress but anyways that is the HDMI clamp it does work if you have the right HDMI cable not every cable is going to work um, outside of that, yeah, great cage, uh, you know, Verivon makes really good quality stuff. Um, you know, their machining, their finish, uh, everything is usually top notch coming out of Verivon. So, um, very compact cage, you know, very minimal space on the side, but still you're able to access pretty much everything. Uh, this is one thing some people are worried about. This is the anti-twist um, kind of wall that's in the front of the cage here. And, you know, I, I haven't tried it, but some people are worried that the adapters for the GH4 could uh, conflict with this, this wall because it comes up a little bit high underneath the lens. Um, I haven't tried that, but uh, I will have to test that out with some things like the speed boosters and stuff to see if it's actually hitting this little wall right over here. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see how close that is to the uh, lens itself already. But uh, for the most part, yeah, everything that we've done with it over a week uh, worked great. Just a great little lightweight cage, um, built-in dovetail. Now the dovetail does also work with their optional rail system. So they have a 15 millimeter rail system that connects underneath this cage if you need to add rails to this. So you can check that out on their website as well. Uh, but there it is. I have it. If you guys have any questions about it, maybe I can answer those questions for you. Uh, but this is the Verivon armor cage for the GH3, GH4 cameras.